Two nails or just one for the smallest? Uh, two nails. Yeah. Yeah. It it's just have to do it with the smallest. Yeah. 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 Hi. Let's just put it straight. I just want to get by. It's not too hard to do that. Yeah, yeah. My partner has the same attitude as me, and we have a good understanding and about um, what we want. So there's no stress really there. Except capitalism. <laughs> yeah, for sure. Do you want to say anything about any of the paintings? Um, I think when I was younger, I probably cared more to explain the work because I always ha have had, you know conceptually reasons to, to paint them. I have a total philosophy that's, gr of course, growing all the time, but that I've been working with as I've been painting through the years, that I've created more of a lang visual language, and the reasons that I'm doing it have become formulated philosophy, but I don't like to explain the work anymore, really. Because I just want the work to resonate what it what it does. I've been doing it a long time, and um, the many hours of of wor working on the pieces through the years that comes out of the hand now, out of my body that makes the work, and they're just documents of time. But I'm not really. I guess I, I'm I'm not private about it, but I'm just stopping to do it. But I would say that they're uh, the idea of them is that they're peaceful paintings, and they're just meditative, peaceful paintings, and they're experiments. They work with the languages that I've created through the years. They're a part of a greater body of work. I consider the work, all the work, together in a piece. And I'm just trying to make magic. They're just peaceful, radiant pieces. I put magic into them, and now they exist. It is pretty, pretty simple, though. They're, they're, they're simple. Yeah, they're just, they're just simple pieces. Yeah. It's funny. I used to I used to go on heavy long rants about capitalism and all that stuff. That is why I'm doing it. To talk about issues and problems and joys and stuff. But I just that's just in it now. Yeah. I just don't need to talk about it anymore. But you know, the one thing about these new colorful, kind of dreamy paintings, they are just experiments using the body. The, um, the shape of them is just basically, because that's the shape of my body. That's just the arc that my hand has. Most of the paintings um, in here are uh, found canvases, which I always try to use found materials, but, but these paintings here are, they're like uh, paintings about, um, you know, life and death. And like, uh, you know, nighttime is like a little death. I love, I, I love it. I'm just, I love the way the central nervous system just, calms down if you're lucky you know if you're lucky um, when you go to sleep maybe you'll get to like experience yourself drifting off to sleep to me that's like this little death 
I love it. I'm so grateful for it. It's so nice to have a relationship with a consciousness towards um, a ri the rhythms of the body. I find that helpful because death is coming, it comes for us all, and it's nice that uh, you know that we have. Uh, some kind of gentleness within our beings that allows us to have peace, peaceful, peaceful times. Um, and these are like, I mean, there's so many, so much energy going into them, but they're like, they're about, they're definitely about doing hospice uh, for my family members. They take a while to paint. I don't care if a painting takes a long time or not a long time. Lots of my work from the past is was super rushed and it was super harsh, and to me, like a painting with like one little ant on it, or a painting that I spent for you know months like that one over there, just seriously spent such crazy amount of time. But the difference between that and like a painting of like a dot on a painting to me, they're equal. They're both the same like the action of it, they all have value. Every Everything and everyone, everything has value. Everybody's special, you know. But um, these paintings are, they're basically, yeah, they're like death paintings, life death paintings. And when you do something that's meditative about that, you just get to go on a journey I just, I love the time, you know, that, that goes into sitting with doing something so strange as like wanting to hang out with a piece of, well, to, to, to do art. Um, but you know, it's a fine thing to do. It doesn't hurt anybody. It's peaceful a lot of the time. I mean, you know, at its, at its best. And, um, But I, what I like about these, doing this type of work, is that, you know, you psychically, you cruise all over the place. And in and, and doing this type of work, because they are about people dying and they are about people living, I think about people that, are, that have passed. I think about their lives. I think about all the times I had with them. And... Um, they help me have gratitude for my time to be here and then have gratitude for uh, the times that I've hung out with people that who split, you know? So I'm, I'm really grateful that I found this, this, this type of art to make in the past couple of years. You know, the unexplained and all, all of that stuff. Um, I, do you get to hang out with people that have died by making this art? Because I'm focusing on them. And I, do, I would like to think that that makes a connection. Yeah, I really would. It's a trip, you know. I have um, I have uh, sleep paralysis, and sleep paralysis is this uh, crazy thing where your body freezes, but you're not quite asleep. You're like halfway in between and awake, and it's pretty. It, when you're, some people find it really scary, um, and it can be every once in a while, but it's a, it's a. It's a very uh, weird experience in that um, in that uh, you do see like ghosts and stuff. It's a it's a very strange thing to be frozen and see shapes and all this type of stuff. Um, I don't know what to think about all that, but it is definitely a strange part of uh, existence to have 
these like kind of visitations and stuff. You can't move. You're like, oh, oh. and um, you you hallucinate basically. It's super interesting. So you you see like uh, figures and and you feel things around you. That's why people are like, oh, it felt like something was sitting on my chest. You feel all that type of that all that type of stuff. But I've been having that forever, you know. I don't have it all the time anymore, but I've been having that like forever. Like so, since you were a kid? Yeah. Oh, it was terrifying when I was a kid, yeah. for sure. But could you talk to somebody about it? No, I think that was like pre, I think that was pre uh, people taking their kids to therapy. I was on my own on that one. Yeah, yeah, it was really interesting. Sounds amazing. Yeah, it's it's definitely strange.